So guys, we got this broken razor from someone that gave us it for free. He said he replaced these two batteries, which are both 12 volts and now it's 24, and this motor. So when we got it, we couldn't find a way to get it to start moving because when we got it, it doesn't move like it does now. And if you all want to know where to get your battery, I'll put a link in the description below where to get the batteries. And we started by troubleshooting. If you all have this problem, start by finding the wires that go to the motor. See, try to get the try to get power to go to the just straight to the motor. And we put power directly to the motor and it spinned. So once you get that down, you know that the motor is good. Now you're down to the controller, the throttle switch, and the brake. Because on these razors, the brake has a safety thing. So when you brake, the motor won't move. So if I brake and I move the throttle, it won't move. And the tool that you guys are going to need is this, this multimeter. You need this to check the voltage. I use this to see if there's electricity passing through when you turn the throttle. And here it is. And if you put them both together, it will be zero. So check the throttle cable. So guys, if you all need this multimeter to measure voltage, I'll leave a link for these in the description below. If you have any questions for any other stuff, leave it in the comments below. So first we took out the switch C. If it was working, we unplugged the wires, twisted it, and see if it would let electricity pass through. The throttle cable is like, looks like this, it's hiding right here. So the way you can check, brown, I think, uh, one of the power cables, and you take this out, put them where the power pass it, where the power goes, and then press the throttle, see if it's getting any voltage, see if it's doing anything, see if it's even moving. If it's not, that means then your throttle is the problem and you need to replace that. Just twisted it and it worked. So we know that this is good. It's nothing with this. So then we moved on to the controller. We checked if anything on the controller was bad. The controller is down there. But you can also reach it from up here. But it can also be the controller sometimes. And then we found out nothing is wrong with the controller. So then we have one more step. We thought it was the brake. So we followed the cable to the brake and then found it. We unplugged the safety switch on the motor. I mean, on the brake. And as you can see, it's unplugged. We took it off and Turned it on, moved it, and it started moving. So, if you have this problem on your dirt quad, check the switch right here on the brake, the throttle, the battery, or the motor. How we found out it was the brake is because we already tested anything that could keep it from moving, throttle or battery, he said he replaced all of these, like the motor and the battery. So we know those two were good because we tested the motor. We put the battery on the motor and then it started working. We used the thing, see if voltage came through when you did this. And we check the controller, that was good. And it all came down to one, which is the brake tried that, unplugged it, and it started working again. And it's the same thing for all Razor vehicles. The thing right here, if you press the brake, 
You can't move the motor. Check the switch. Check any uh, wires and the battery. I hope you all find out what your problem was and I hope you all find a way to fix it. If it didn't if this video didn't help, please comment and comment and tell us what's happening. I'll show you guys on how to drive this thing now. Always make sure this thing is on. This is where your battery will show if it's low or full. It's full for me because I just charged this. Twist it slowly. Don't just launch because that's too fast. And I'll show you guys some clips of me driving. So guys, let me know if y'all did quad work, and I'll see you on the next video, and stay tuned for more videos like this. Bye.